Kliegel Brothers Universal Electric Stage Lighting Company was an American manufacturer of electrical stage lighting products in the 20th century. The company had a significant influence in the development of theatrical, cinema, television, and specialty lighting. It equipped many major performing venues in the United States and its products were used in several other countries as well. Their eponymous product, the Kleeglite, was the trade name for two quite different production lights manufactured by the company, and survives today in both industry argo and in popular idiom as a synonym for spotlight or center of attention. Topic: History. Topic. Origins The company was founded in 1896 in New York City when a Bavarian immigrant, Anton Kliegel, in partnership with A. H. Gwendel, purchased the Meyerhofer Electric Stage Lighting Company, and renamed it the Universal Electric Stage Lighting Company. A year later his older brother Johann Kliegel replaced Gwendel, and the firm became known as the Kliegel Brothers Universal Electric Stage Lighting Company. From its infancy as a firm so small that its proprietors also worked as stagehands to supplement their income, it grew to be one of the largest firms in North America manufacturing lighting and control equipment for the theater and television stage. Topic. Factories In the beginning, the firm occupied the Meyerhofer facilities in the Old Star Theater at 842 Broadway, New York City. By 1901 they had moved to 1393-95 Broadway, 129 West 38th Street. After the loss of this plant to fire on August 15, 1911, they moved again, this time to 240 West 50th Street, and in September 1921, they built and occupied their own four-story-plus basement factory at 321-325 West 50th Street. In 1962 they moved to a new, modern two-story plant at 32-3248th Avenue in Long Island City. By 1966 an annex had been opened two blocks away to meet the press of business. By 1966, NYLA appeared on drawing title blocks, denoting their last expansion, the opening of a branch sales, engineering office in Los Angeles under George Howard. By 1979, LA had vanished from the title blocks. After 1980, the company's business began to decline, and by 1990 they had moved to a smaller plant at 5 Ariel Way, Syosset Long Island, New York. By 1996, the bankrupt company had closed down. Topic. Management Johann Kliegel was born in Bad Kissingen, Bavaria, Germany in 1869, and his brother Anton in 1872. Johann, trained as a locksmith, emigrated to the United States in 1888, and Anton, trained as a plumber, followed him there in 1893. There they both started working in a factory which manufactured electric arc lamps. Throughout their lives, the two brothers maintained close ties to Bad Kissingen, and endowed there a school, still extant, and grown to encompass grade, middle and high school divisions. Many of their employees were brought over from Bad Kissingen, such that the patois on the factory floor was known to the staff as 50th Street Deutsch. Anton, in fact, died in Bad Kissingen on May 19, 1927. Management was retained by the Kliegel family throughout the history of the firm. Johann remained active until a few days prior to his death on September 30, 1959. His son, Herbert Kliegel, was by that time the managing head of the firm, and remained so until a few weeks before his death on October 3, 1968. Control then passed to Herbert's son John H. Kliegel II. 
By 1992 the firm was in Chapter 11, and a stockbroker, Richard Davison, took complete ownership and control, replacing John Klegel II with Al Vitale. The firm ceased operations in November 1996. Topic. Products At the time of the firm's founding, electric lighting for the stage was in its infancy. Held finds no catalogue of stage lighting equipment earlier than Klegel's catalogue of 1898, as cited in Rubin page 72, note 39. Indeed, it may be inferred that the use of electric in the company's name was intended to distinguish its products from the illuminating gas or acetylene-fueled equipment they would replace. Many of what became common devices, such as the stage, shoe, or thrust plug and the disappearing footlight were patented by the Klegels, and many others were developed into the forms still familiar today. Initially they continued the Meyerhofer business as contractors and manufacturers as noted in their catalog G of 1913. In 1903 they furnished and installed the complete stage lighting system for the Metropolitan Opera Company's new home on West 37th Street John was at the time an electrician for the Met. In 1933 they would be again called to provide a complete new stage lighting system, although not as installers. Catalog G also displayed the carbon arc floodlight, developed by the firm in 1911, as the iconic Klieglight. A diverse assortment of lighting and electrical products were also catalogued, such as exit signs, backup batteries, dimmer boards, connectors, effect projectors, chandeliers, marquee lights and complete marquees, charging outlets for electric cars, switchboards, etc. Featured was a skyrocket. Sign for Tilius Steeplechase Park in Coney Island. The development of electrical standards was spurred, in part, by the Iroquois Theatre Fire of 1903. Klegel Brothers Catalog E states that, "...plugs and receptacles are in accordance with underwriters' requirements and pass city inspections." Page 10. The Klegels maintained a direct interest in the development of standards for theater electrical systems. From 1950 to his death, Herbert Klegel was a member of the National Fire Protection Association NFPA code making panel number 115. A precursor of today's spotlights, the baby spotlight, their first using an incandescent lamp, was introduced in their catalogue E of 1906 as cited in Rubin page 84. The takeover of the incandescent lamp would be inexorable, as cited in Rubin page 93, note 66 from about 1908. Motion picture studios were using the company's floor stand arc lamps, which allowed for point source lighting, including some of the first low light effects. The shadow produced by the two pairs of carbon rods can be seen in some early films. In their 1922 catalog, the company was still featuring its motion picture studio equipment, but by 1926, references to motion picture applications had dwindled to a single line of type on the first page. In 1924 they introduced the use of glass rondelles as color media in border and footlights, eliminating coloring of individual lamps. Klegel Brothers introduced its Fresnel lens spots in 1929, and by 1935 were ordering their own Fresnel lenses from Corning, as cited in Rubin page 171. Pages devoted to Klegel products in the 1928-29 catalogues of retailers such as Holzmuller on the West Coast and wholesalers like Marl in Stamford, Connecticut, showed that their sales now extended well beyond their own factory. The condensed catalog of 1929 for the first time lists a broader range of Mazda incandescent lamps than arc spots. By 1930, the Mazda name has vanished, yielding to incandescence. In 1932, the Klegel brothers installed their new ellipsoidal reflector spotlights in the Center Theater in Radio City. Based on the new GET-14 medium bipost lamps, these had triple the efficiency of the standard Plano convex spots. 
They were demonstrated to a meeting of the Illuminating Engineering Society on April 19, 1933 page 186 and introduced as a standard product in Catalogue B of 1933 as Kleeglites. Page 187, Note 75 and build on pages 42-45 of Catalog 40 of 1936 as the new Kleeglite. Catalog 40 of 1936 introduced a full line of architectural downlights. Individual architectural products had been made for some time. The auto transformer dimmer, originally dubbed the Transtat. The catalog was overstamped, changing the trade name to Autrastat. Motor operated dimmers, Fresnel lens spots, etc. At the same time, the more obsolete and exotic products began to disappear. This catalogue also introduced ALZIC reflectors, ALZIC being a proprietary process for producing a mirror like finish on aluminium. Under agreement with the process owner, Alcoa, Kliegel Brothers created reflectors using the ALZIC process for their own use and for sale at the Kliegel Reflector Company, a separate subsidiary plant located on 11th Avenue between 33rd and 34th Streets opposite the location of the present Javits Center. Major was the only other licensee for stage lighting reflectors, page 205. An interesting specialty, prominently featured in this catalogue, but dating to the first catalogue, was the effect projector, in which rotating, hand-painted, transparent discs rotated before projector spots. Precise optical lenses spread the image to beam-lighted patterns or images, ranging from a simple snowfall to the elaborate, Christ rising to heaven with three angels, onto a stage backdrop. Six artists sat before the tall 50th Street windows on the third floor hand painting the tiny images which would be magnified many times when in use. Pages 10 to 11 these were used not only on stage, but also in architectural applications. By 1960, effect projectors had been made obsolete by film, and later, computer generated projections. By Catalogue T61, issued in 1954, the arc spots were represented by a single model, while the Kleeglite line offered models ranging from 250 watt to 3000 watt spots. The company was also offering their Dynabeam lensed follow spot, and Fresnels from 100 to 2000 watts. In that era of patch panels and small numbers of high wattage dimmers, Kliegel Brothers, offered its SAF patch, patch panels, and rotolector, rotary power switches, both developed by Herbert Kliegel. Both products interlocked the electrical contacts with a circuit breaker, preventing arcs while switching or patching. From the beginning of the firm's operations, custom products were readily available. Indeed, the craft shop system used throughout its history made little differentiation between custom and standard products. High-end lighting designers regularly sought out Kliegel Brothers, who could design and produce the hardware that would fulfill their visions. Often, the custom product made its mark on the industry, such as the wall washers designed for the UN General Assembly Room, or the fluorescent wall washers for New York's Pan American now Met Life, building lobby, both designed by Herbert Kliegel. A custom oddity was the scoreboard designed for Madison Square Garden, across 50th Street from the factory. This remained in use until the relocation of the garden to its current home atop Penn Station. Until 1959 Kliegel provided controls as an assembler of equipment purchased or licensed from others. Resistance plates and variable brush autotransformers were largely purchased from Ward Leonard, magnetic amplifiers from General Electric. Thyrotron dimmers were manufactured under license from Strand Electric of England. All this started to change in 1958. In 1959 the first commercially viable solid-state theater dimmer, Kliegel's SCR-R, was introduced as model R59. Improved models followed. Within two years, the solid-state dimmer had, as a practical matter, swept away all other dimming systems. 
In the 1960s, like other theatrical suppliers, the company was making more from amateur theatre companies than from either film or professional theatre. In 1977, the company received permission to start a Toronto subsidiary. But by the 1978 series of catalogue brochures, product development had significantly slowed down. An attempt to build a modern control console had failed, and the control systems had been largely outsourced. Luminaire and accessory lines had further narrowed, and the trend was inexorable. Unable to compete in a world of low-cost mass production, the firm finally ceased operations in 1996. Topic. Klieglight. The first, Klieglight, was a powerful carbon arc light designed for the motion picture industry. It was not the first arc light offered by the company arc floods are offered in their bulletin. Stage lighting apparatus and effects of every description, published prior to 1906, and nor was it a spotlight. Its first listing is in Catalogue G of 1913, where it is shown as a horizontal wide flood. None of the surviving catalogues, through to its disappearance from the company's product line, describe any other lighting instrument as a Klieg light, with all arc spotlights uniformly described as arc spotlights. Klieg light, however, reappears on pages 42 to 45 of Catalog 40 of 1936 as the name of their new line of ellipsoidal reflector incandescent spotlights, and this usage continued as long as the company was in existence. Oddly enough, the company apparently did not attempt to trademark the name, although there was a filing for a logo that was never carried through. Topic major projects The following is a representative sampling of major projects undertaken by Klegel Brothers, Metropolitan Opera at 37th Street, New York City 1903 and 1933, replacements thereafter Roxy Theatre, Stage Lighting C Movie Studios, Madrid, Spain Madison Square Garden at 50th Street, NYC Metropolitan Opera at Lincoln Center, Architectural Lighting Radio City Music Hall 1932. Equipment replaced 1963 Jones Beach Marine Theater 666 Fifth Avenue, New York City, Exterior Lighting RCA Building at Rockefeller Center, Exterior Lighting Philharmonic Hall, Avery Fisher Hall, Lincoln Center, Architectural Lighting 1962 Place des Arts, Montreal 1963 New York State Theater, Lincoln Center 1964 Los Angeles Music Center 1965 CBS Studios 31 and 3, Los Angeles 1967, 70, Moscow World Trade Center 1971, ABC TV 66th and 67th Street Studios, New York City NBC TV Studios, Hollywood Teatro Teresa Carino, Caracas, Venezuela State Opera House Staatsoper, Vienna, Austria Ernie Pyle Theater, Tokyo, Japan, 